You sure you want to talk about showdown? I'm pretty keen. I you can't sure? believe we've left it this long. <laughs> OK, then. Take us away. 75 <laughs> points. Who yeah. would have saw that coming? Yeah, it was. They were sharp, weren't they? And it was led in the midfield. I just thought Port Adelaide's midfield and their ability to kick scores from stoppages. They kicked 8-0 to zero in the stoppages. And uh, Connor Rosie has been moved into the midfield. This year, Lotto, after being their leading goal scorer last year, his previous best was two clearances prior to this, and he had eight last night. So just thought it was set up by the youngsters, and, and Rosie, who I personally thought was the best man on the ground. And you said it for a while, and I'll continue to say it, that, that Carlton picked the wrong bloke. This guy should have been the first pick in the draft, and he continues to show why. And I think he's tracking like the great goal-kicking midfielders like a Dustin Martin, a Bontempelli, mm. like a, a, a Trent Cotchin mm. and these types. That's his progression and that's where we'll get to. But they're three in that draft are unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. We'll look back at that and say that's one of the best. Dersma was great last night, kick yeah. three as well. Let's take a look at some of the kids that they have got at Port Adelaide and uh, just touched on that bill there. Sorry. Fantastic. Uh, Dersma had 17 disposals <laughs> and kicked three goals. You got Butters, yep. who had uh, 21 disposals Ace. and kicked the goal. Watch this for a goal, Bill. Oh, I love this. You cannot teach this to a player. That is within you. Brilliant. It's just instinct that not too many can do. I and mean, the coach yep. lets them do it. Yeah. I like it's, that, yeah, you know. Kenny's, he's been that way, he? Kenny's got to take Nick. some credit. Yeah. Yeah. And let's take thing. a look at the uh, the draft, <laughs> the pick of the bunch. And we look at it. Uh, now, Walsh, Lacocious, Rankin, but Port Adelaide. Rosie at five, Butters at 12 and Dersma at 18. They've impacted straight away, Brown. They certainly have. And what I love about these three guys is the swagger and the confidence yes. they have. And, Bill, you went uh, talked about how Ken Hinckley allows them to do it. Let's have a look at some of... Uh, some people say this is disrespectful, some of the stuff that uh, players do, but a young kid doing this. I love this. I love this. Because now get your teammates up and about. Look at that. The yeah, first yeah. four guys in there yeah. were Port Adelaide guys. And this stuff, the bow and arrow, I think that's brilliant. I love that. That is genuine confidence about these guys. And I'll say, when they took them, I think they're at least a year more advanced than what they thought they'd be. I think they are now in the in the top four talk. As long as Charlie Dixon stands up, these young kids, I think they're a year more advanced than what everybody thought they'd be. And you be. spoke about that aspect of their, their game in their very first game last year, round one. Yep. Remember, they revved up the, uh, the opponents they in did. a way that 18-year-olds normally do not do. And it. they're almost told to put away the bow and arrow, but he's continued yeah. to do it, and I love that. If and you're a peacock, let Marshall. them fly, Bill. Now, you lot... <laughs> <laughs> Peacocks don't they fly. They don't fly, though, do they? <laughs> they don't fly. Sometimes they do. No, they don't fly. <laughs> <laughs> you do not fly. No, sorry, sorry, David Attenborough. If you're an eagle, you should be Spread sorry, their wings, DJ. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Oh, this one. Oh, we're going to get more out of this one. Henry Ford. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Go, no.